So this video is a representation, R2 representation of the uh, connectron structure of uh, the mouse uh, chromosome 1. Uh, unlike the R1 representation, this is a uh, different uh, perception. Um, but the same idea, that is to say, there are non-coding uh, uh, structures and gene coding structures, and then you have the spiral that represents the uh, the complete uh, g uh, chromosome. Um, so now, uh, the purpose of this graphic, uh, oh, let me just turn on just the, the gene coding events. So these are all of the, the lengths of the connectron sources of the different types of connectrons. Um, so uh, for example, uh, if we shut off the, the longer ones, so these are the uh, gene coding uh, sources of connectrons uh, as positioned along the uh, the chromosome for different types and so now if we go and uh, so this is a these are connectrons that have uh, uh, 24 uh, bases uh, to 50 bases uh, in the uh, uh, in the shorter the long shorter of the two uh, uh, signals that are caused by the gene trans gene coding transcription event um, and uh, so then there are a number of different uh, uh, connectron types and so once again I'll show the uh, um, the one shots the these are the connectrons that turn themselves uh, off for a certain period of time uh, one shot connectrons have a very powerful uh, effect in that they uh, convert a, a, a amplitude modulated uh, system uh, run by the promoters into a frequency modulated system and one of the other videos will talk about that in more detail in any case uh, here are the uh, the uh, we'll take just the shortest ones for the non-coding and so here are the non-coding um, things and so you see as in many cases with the connectrons that the gene coding events and the non-coding events are approximately equivalent in uh, in nature and so if we uh, if we pick a particular spot and then zoom up on it you can see that uh, as with the connectron loops there are uh, regions uh, let's just turn off the, uh, the non-coding for the moment so here we see that uh, in this uh, region here, there are um, several uh, places where there there are there's just one or two, and with some places where there are a particular short one, and then even uh, here, uh, you can see that there's a whole structure of uh, where there are different uh, connectron sources. Um, for example, here we have. Um, some larger number of uh, connectron uh, sources are being uh, um, generated and uh, for over here for example is a, whole, is a region where there's a variety of different uh, uh, places where the um, connectron uh, uh, RNAs come from um, and again if we uh, zoom back we can uh, show that the non-coding uh, also has the same sort of structure and so there'll be um, various uh, regions um, oh, for example just pick down here and uh, zoom up and so you see here's a very complex uh, structural region where this region, uh, whatever transcription events are going on here, uh, will produce a variety of uh, sequences that um, uh, will uh, act on either this chromosome or, or other chromosomes uh, to form uh, connectrons of just the variety um, uh, 24 to, uh, to 50. So now if we uh, put on the gene coding once again and zoom back, and uh, reposition the, uh, the sequence a bit. Um, the tool is very nice. It uh, really allows you to understand. Of course, the, the representation is nice because you have all of this place, this space in which to work. So now if we turn on the, the 41, 51 to uh, 
100 and then the uh, hundreds to 200 and then the 200 to 500 and in this case it doesn't seem to be any one someplace I can't quite see it um, and then do this for the uh, gene coding so here you see the different annuli of uh, structure uh, for this one type of, uh, of connectron. Uh, so now if we uh, switch on the uh, intrachromosomal primary um, connectrons, uh, here you see these are the, so let's knock out the one shot. So here you see a different uh, distribution. Again, there are, there are different size lengths uh, here. This is the 200 to 500, and this is the 100 to 200 and this is the 50. So you see that most of the connectrons are coming from the region from the shorter connectrons. Always the case. Um, knock out this uh, here. Uh, um, so you put in just the shortest two regions. And so this is uh, these are most of the connectrons of this inter uh, intra primary, and then the inter chromosomal are these set of uh, connectron sources. So you see that many places in the chromosome are used uh, by um, these are the secondary, just a few of these, um, and the. Uh, inter interchromosomal and um, and then the inter interchromosomal tertiary connectrons. I uh, can't see where they are. Um, they must be in one of the other categories. So if we put on all of the categories here, and uh, uh, <laughs> there it is, just a little one. Um, and then there are some connectrons that are. Uh, uncontrolled. I never quite figured the, uh, what these mean yet. Um, but uh, so, so these are different categories of uh, connectrons, different types. Um, and so this graphic uh, gives you a very good idea of where the transcription events are occurring on a given chromosome and uh, what they um, um, uh, and how many there are, and, and the different types, and the different lengths. Um, so uh, this is in contrast to the R1 representation in which the targets are the object of the graphic. Um, so each, each representation has a particular purpose and a particular utility. Uh, the important thing is that the spiral gives you, uh, unlike the uh, conventional uh, viewers uh, for genomes, uh, this spiral gives you essentially infinite representation space. And so you can have, in, a, in, in sequence detail, I mean, of, of exquisite proportion, uh, you can have exact knowledge about events that are going on in a given region. And uh, do this, uh, you know, you can say this is, uh, position uh, 140 and this is uh, position 139.5. Uh, so you know exactly where on the chromosome each of these events uh, is occurring. Um, and this is the power of this uh, of the spiral representation and of the um, uh, King uh, graphic uh, viewer and of looking in three dimensions at these uh, details. So you can play with this for hours on end. And this is just chromosome one, and this is just mouse. And this uh, technique can be applied to, uh, to any um, uh, genome. Thank you.